they don't have a democratic mandate. If they want a seat in the table, they should run for office. Let the people vote. It will not be a pretty sight for them if the elections are free and fair. I mean, who elected Soros to dictate public policy and laws? Why, why does he feel entitled to impose his agenda? Let me tell you something. Soros and his cronies hit a brick wall in El Salvador. Thank God, thank God, and all the glory be to him, Salvadorans are now immune to his influence. No one believes his lies anymore over there. President Nayib Bukele of El Salvador questions the influence of unelected figures like Soros in shaping public policy, sparking concerns about the impact of such individuals on political matters. This scrutiny leads to a broader discussion about the legitimacy of authority in El Salvador particularly regarding unelected influencers like Soros. Bukile advocates for elected officials to uphold democratic legitimacy, aligning with conservative principles of representative democracy, where validation comes from the electoral process. He stresses the importance of free and fair elections, arguing that such an environment would limit the power of influencers. Bukile's assertion that El Salvador is now free from Soros's influence resonates with a public that values national sovereignty and is wary of external interference in domestic affairs.